How does this help your confidence? But hey, I'm a bit sad. That one there's um, broken, and I've had a blowout. Bit of a toe walker, <laughs> aren't ya? Crocs or not? So I do not want to get stuck out here on our own. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So Alex is just connecting the van. Oh my God, I can't see anything out of those. What's happened there? Alex is just connecting the van um, and then we're heading to Weeper. So that's the goal, but we know we're not gonna get there in one go. So uh, we're probably just gonna drive halfway, stay at a bit of a free camp, maybe a roadhouse or a station or something. Um, the cheaper, the better, hey. Yep, definitely be coming back here one day though. Yeah. We'd love to come back here for longer and get the boat out and stuff. Um, we were talking to people and they said that they were talking to people and saw crocs along this beach, like right out the front of their caravan. We didn't see anything like that. We have not seen a single croc up here, have we? Nah, but yeah, still hopeful. <laughs> still hopeful while we're in the region, not too close obviously, but yeah. Get on the road and let you know where we end up. Okay, so we're coming back up to the Jardine crossing. Um, last time we scraped a little bit coming off it so hopefully this time we don't get stuck mm. <laughs> it'll be a little bit different coming from the other side of course i'm nervous about it <laughs> how does this help your confidence <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a caravan stuck on it so they're making their way off he didn't have any forward drive he had to get out and lock his hubs in and everything uh, he's moving now So um, the ferry driver, he, he's a top bloke, he just came and had a chat to us. We got on, we didn't scrape at all. No. I didn't hear anything. No. Just a little bit of guidance from him, you probably see him out of the front camera. But that's awesome, he's just actually going to have a chat with them behind us because he didn't tell them to come on the bagel. But, yeah. So if you come here and you've got a long rig, even if you don't have a long rig, that short one in front of us just sort of really dove down because mm. he went straight. Just snake your way onto it. Just follow what they're saying. Yeah, even though you didn't do that on the way on. No, true. But we did scrape on the yeah. way off, so. But that was a different driver. He didn't tell me anything. He didn't even yeah, pop true. out of his cab last time. He just sat in there. Yeah. And then he was just like, even though we were scraping, he was like, just go. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was a bit more uh, cash that way. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, I'm a bit sad. Why? Well, this is like, we're leaving the tip. End of an era. <laughs> anyway, we're still going on. No, just leaving the tip, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We made it! There we go. Must be a little bit different with the tides too. Because yeah. that was even harder getting off the other side. So um, yeah, once again, a bit of guidance from him. All good. All right, hey, this is where we've decided to end up. I'm showing you the car. That won't show you where we are. Right here, got some beautiful big trees. Uh, Morton Telegraph Station. Uh, south, how far do you reckon it is from Bramwell Roadhouse? About 30 k's. Yeah, 30 k's from Bramwell Roadhouse. We decided to pull in here because Alex had a look at the um, free camp just up the road and it, it was like going into a sign that said National Park. Um, there was nothing on Wiki that said we could have dogs. We couldn't have dogs, so we just thought we'd err on the side of caution and go with the general rule. Go, yeah, go with the general rule of National Parks. No dogs. No dogs. <laughs> so. so we're here. Uh, how much was it? 
$50 for the night. It was 50 bucks, was it? <laughs> 20 bucks an adult, $5. A kid. Hey, it's cape prices, it's what you gotta pay. Like yeah. anyway, look, the whole joint basically to ourselves. There's a few other people rocking in. There is a tour bus, but um look this is fine. I've got to lay on the ground to fix something under the caravan later, so a bit of nice grass will be good for that. Right, so I said I've got to get under the van to fix something. It's only small, but it's gotta be done regardless. Oh. So just under here. The rocks have smashed my wires for the uh, electric brakes on this hub. The others are okay. They're all good. But that one here, yeah, you gotta climb under, bud. That one there's um, broken, so. I always carry some gear, so I've got some wire strippers, side cutters, and just a couple of the, I um, don't know what they're called, screw-in joinery things. <laughs> You can tell I'm not a sparky. Anyway, I'll fix that back up and then we'll have brakes to all wheels again. So just kicking the footy around with uh, Toby and I've had a blowout. I cannot tell you how often I blow thongs out, but always come prepared. <laughs> always got a spare pair, don't I? You know, I don't know what he does to them. I can have a pair of thongs for like years <laughs> and he just blows his out constantly. Same with sunnies. I don't know. Yeah, sunnies and thongs. I just go through them. Like I don't buy good pairs of sunnies. I buy cheap ones because I just break them all the time. I don't know how. Thankfully, we got given those spotters, but he literally saves those for fishing. Yeah, so that yeah, he the doesn't ruin them. The spotters are too good. They're too nice, so I use them for fishing and fishing only. Um, let me know thongs that are good that last. Yes. I am. Um, he really he wears out the toe. Like he's a bit of a toe walker, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> I'm a Neanderthal, and I walk on my toes. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, and that's where you wear it out. He ends up with yeah. like a hole in his toes. <laughs> But seriously, if you know a good um, brand of thong that doesn't blow through, because this is what I keep doing, I keep having a typical plugger blowout. So let me know if there's good ones. I guess we're gonna have to spend some more money. I keep getting cheap ones. Yeah, well, it's the same cost, isn't it? If you're <laughs> going through them every month. <laughs> Chuck it in the comments. Good thong brands. Hey, morning, everyone. We've got a beautiful day today. We're gonna go over to the shop slash office here. Um, apparently they got a little bit of a museum out the back, which you said you assume it's about the telly or about the cake. Yeah, well, because this is the Morton Telegraph station, so I assume it's got something to do with the telegraph. Hmm. All right, we'll head on over and have a look, and then I'm gonna ask them about the little barra hole. Apparently there's a little barra hole to fish out, and um, yeah, if it's named that, surely we've got a slight chance. Well, there you go, 1887 this telegraph station was uh, established and that little museum just had info about like uh, how it started out, flooding, it's flooded quite often here, right? Eh? Yeah, so like that pole, I think it's that pole there that he was standing at. Yeah, it is. And it's like... Up to his chest. <laughs> up, yeah, up here. So they get a lot of water around here. Okay, so this is the barra hole, guys. It's pretty shallow by the looks of it. And the water is real clear. But old mate, that um, 
uh, runs a joint here just told us go behind this log up here and flick from there but also there is a salty around so just be careful so kids are back from the water's edge no, thank you. maybe you meant that log there I don't know I don't want to get too close to the edge no I'm a bit nervous <laughs> Right here. He said he came down this morning and checked it, so should be all good. Hey, have a look at this here, guys. Tell me, are they croc slides or are they from something else that slid down here? Because I just had a little slip before and it made a little bit of a similar look but I don't know, crocs or not? So where we're fishing right now, this is the Wentlock River. Now back before they built the bridge or the crossing, you used to have to get your cars on, it was pretty much a heap of 44 barrel drums, a little um, hand pulled barge. And um, that's the only way you could get, get over. There's photos of it in the museum, it's pretty cool. And then you can still see the concrete. Um, it's like a big footing with a um, metal piece on it, so that, like a hook, so that they can pull it through. So that's pretty cool. You used to have to cross this to get up to the Cape. Now, obviously, you just drive across. <laughs> but um, what else were they saying, Erin? It, it, this breaks its banks once every a year. The wet every year. So that's like, if you have a look at how high those banks are, that's a lot of water. Mm -hmm. No luck on the fishing. Nothing. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> it felt real sketchy, though. Like, it wasn't... I don't know, not too comfortable being right on the edge. Yeah, no. Kids have bailed, they're both cranky. The flies are next level annoying. I need to come down on my own sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> when we've got more time, we're supposed to be out of here in five minutes. Yeah, so that's a problem. We've timed this really well, but <laughs> oh well, keep trying. We'll go to Weeper and try to catch some fish there. Oh, mate just hit us up on the way back and said, how'd we go? Do we have any luck? We go, nah. Nothing. <laughs> he said to me, Aaron, he goes, oh, that's unusual. Usually always get something out of there. I said, no, nah, it's not unusual for us. <laughs> Here we go, guys. We're in Weeper. Um, it was a bit of a shorter trip than I thought. I thought it was a bit longer than... No, nah, when I looked up maps from where we were, it was four hours. Yeah. But that only took us like two and a bit. What we ended up doing is... Um, there was like a back road, so we didn't have to go back out to that main intersection where we showed you that stick it up sign. Yep, you can cut through Batavia Downs, I think it's called. Yeah, that's it. Um, we ended up having a passenger with us for the whole trip. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them what happened. Oh, so we pulled, as we were like looking for the turn off for Weeper, there was a tour truck, like a- The motorbike tour. A motorbike tour truck. Um, and so we just stopped to ask them if they were okay, because the guy was on the satellite phone and they had someone in the truck that had a broken collarbone uh, and needed a lift back to Weeper. <laughs> yeah, so Stuart jumped in with us. He'd been doing that motorbike tour, came off, broke his collarbone and um, got a flight out of Weeper. So yeah. we dropped him at the airport. Anyway, so now we're going to head into town. Now, I thought there was multiple places to stay in Weeper, but apparently there's only one. So I don't know whether it's the filters I've got on. Oh, yeah, okay. Could yeah. be that, but um, one that allows dogs anyway by the looks. So <laughs> we'll be heading there. We'll go see what it's all about. What's the sitch? Uh, we got, we are over here. Oh, no, on the water, right? No, the water. Oh, not on the water. <laughs> but I was like, are we going to fit? She was like, yeah, you So, what's the damage here? 180 for three nights power. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I thought I was expecting it to be more. Yep. Well, I'm glad we spent all that money on a big battery system to plug into power. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, today we are going to check out Pennyfather River. Now, I got told about Pennyfather a long time ago before we left on the original lap by the owner of McCormack's 4 oh. He said it was the most amazing place. And obviously we never got there. We never got to Queensland. So, we're doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> so we just, um, we left the van in at the caravan park. You can camp out at Pennyfather, but we've been given the heads up that it's very soft. Yeah, so. from everything I've researched, it's also, yeah, sandy track, so. Bertha's a big girl, so mm. getting out there well, might be a little bit tricky. But to, um, to get over to it, you have to cross the Gulf of Carpentaria, Gulf of Carpentaria, and um, it's the Australia's longest one-way bridge, apparently. So I don't know how that works, whether there's lights on the end of it, but we'll see. <laughs> This is tight. <laughs> and I can see the ocean, and now we're at a Y intersection. And I don't know where to go. Pr it probably doesn't matter because the beach is every which way you look. So. True. Right. So this sand is real soft, eh? So, got the eye check deflators. I'm just going to drop them down because I do not want to get stuck out here on our own. looking for but it's so soft. Yeah, it's not really up. Now we're just gonna try and get back up onto the track. Yeah. <laughs> Have a look at this, eh? So that's where we were driving just down there and I was starting to get a little bit concerned that we weren't going to get back up. What do you reckon? Yeah, it was sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> we tried a couple of exit tracks and man, we just bogged down so quickly. And that's where the tyres dropped down to uh, about 18. I could go lower obviously, but yeah, we came back to the one we drove on and just got out there. So we're going to pull up here. I, I'm assuming these are all the campsites. There's um, uh, Penny Father campsites along here and it's these beautiful beach sites, but I don't know. It's a <laughs> lot of rubbish. People are just leaving their camp chairs, tying stuff into the trees. It's a little oh, bit gross when people wee. treat it like that. Yeah, Bowie's doing a wee in the background. There's like someone's toilet seat, makeshift toilet seat there. Dead set, guys. If you come to a campground, treat it with respect because they'll just close it on everyone. Anyway, this is a nice little uh, rope swing down here, so we'll have some lunch and um, get Erin on the swing. <laughs> Graceful and all it. There we go, we don't have to drive back up the track. We so, found the sign. Yeah, because we were, I don't know where we're going. I don't know <laughs> what I'm looking for. We're just driving around. Um, beach is beautiful, it's bloody warm. It is so warm. Um, it's like perfect in the shade. There's a bit of a breeze and it's not too hot there, but. Yeah, but they talk about fishing out here and I hate fishing straight off the beach. So I'm pretty sure they're talking about the river map. Yeah, it looks too shallow to fish off the beach oh, anyway. so shallow, yeah. Let's see if we can find this river mouth, eh? Hey? 
Well, we found it, didn't we? We did, eventually. <laughs> Penny father. Um, as you come around the corner, because we came the sand dune way, there's like these old safari tents, hey? Yeah. And when first, well, it says ranger station, but it looks like there's no one there. And then, yeah, there'd be have to be 10 safari tents. And they're just fully abandoned, like, haven't been touched in a long time. So I don't know what the deal is. Whether there used to be something out here. It looks like there did used to be something yeah. more substantial out here. Yeah. A lot of camps along the way too. They reckon a lot of locals have their own little setups out here, like tin sheds and stuff. And they are um, big private, no entry signs. So, yeah. But anyway, this is the river mouth. That's it there. So I'm going to rig a couple of rods up. And we're going to chuck them in here. See what we can't catch. <laughs> Literally. All right, we're going to head back now. We've been here for, what, an hour and a half, two hours? Yeah, fair while. Just hanging out, fishing. I actually hooked on to a good fish. I was talking to a bloke who was fishing as well, and he just watched it. It was just peeling off, but that's not exciting. <laughs> You're not here to watch me talk about catching fish, so I'll leave it there. And something's jumping right now. <laughs> yeah, we can, I've seen like a couple of big things jumping out, but I don't know whether they're rays or fish or what they are. Mm. Hey, if you've got a smaller setup, I recommend coming out here. Like, you've got the rubbish, it's it's a bit off-putting, but it's beautiful other than that. Yeah, if you just don't look behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there's um there's a few little caravans, a few hybrids here. We definitely wouldn't pull ours in, but yeah. yeah. We think we think we might have seen a croc though. Yeah, yeah, but it's hard to tell. There was something black on the beach and then it wasn't there. And then there's like a slide mark down into the water, mm. not where that black thing was, but still possibly potential croc activity. And we're gonna claim exciting. it. First croc. We're gonna, yeah, we're croc gonna claim it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll head back now. All right, good morning, everyone. Hey, um, I'm up pretty early today because we got, well, I got invited to go on a fishing charter. So we met a couple of lovely couples here in the caravan park um, over the last couple of days. And uh, Craig and Tim have got fish and charter book for today and they said jump on board with us um, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do so hopefully um, we'll get out there catch some fish bit windy today so apparently we're going up the river but we'll see what happens when we get on the boat Alright guys, hey, we're out here, we've got Craig and Tim, they've asked me to come on this uh, charter with them. We've got Chris up the back, our skipper, he's getting everything sorted out. And uh, what are we trying to get? Some barras, are we? Yep, bring the barra. <laughs> and some muddies, they've been getting a heap of I'll muddies. One is down the back. But um, it's been, it's so windy, we're tucked away now, it's pretty good. But um, that's why we're going up the river instead of going out, because uh, the wind is just hectic at the moment. Anyway, let's get some lines in the water. Hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Well done, Craigie. Pull it in by head because he snapped the reel. <laughs> What's it called? Yes. How are your heads, mate? It's 
Well, that's not a barra. <laughs> oh, well, at least I got a fish. Some in there. Really? One. And One. a fish. One monster. Come on. Any mud on it? Double in there. So I just got back from the fishing charter. Um, that was an awesome day. What an awesome experience. Yeah, so thanks to Tim and Craig for inviting me. Um, and Chris, the charter operator for taking us out. He's a, he's a true local from up here. He's a good bloke though. So. He seemed really well. Like, yeah. Well, we met him all obviously when we were checking out the catch. Yeah, so we came back, We fill, oh, he filled it all up for us. So that's part of it, he'll, he'll do everything for you. Um, I still didn't catch a barra. I'm devastated. It's just gonna have Come to be back. the challenge. I just still need to get a barra Monday. But um, anyway, the other guys did. So that's awesome, we got to film that. We but, should um, get to eat some. Yeah, this is true. They gave me some barra. I don't feel like I deserve it, but they gave me some. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna have a big feast tonight. Gonna have a few beers. Yeah, glad you got to experience that. Mm, so am I, and now I owe you. <laughs> Twice. He owes me two outings. Thank you. <laughs> have a look at this fresh barra bites wanna have a go mate oh that's crunchy the heart but but good can i try a bit please mm -hmm. before we take it down for everyone oh yeah and tell me what you think. I think it's fish. <laughs> Definitely is. Not that flash? I just want a little nibble. Can yeah, I, little I was going to say, are you going to try it? So, Erin's still a bit iffy with fish. Oh, it's really. <laughs> I like it. So, maybe you will eat it. Maybe I will. <laughs> Alright, let's take it down. <laughs> <laughs> See how they turn out, eh? <laughs> Well, good morning everyone. Hey, last night was a pretty damn good night. It was fun. Um, we went over to Tim, Bev, Craig and Louise's vans and just hung out. They As we did for the two nights <laughs> every previous. Night <laughs> so thanks for having us guys. Um, <laughs> But they cooked up some barra in some panko, panko crumbs. So we had our beer battered barra, panko crumb batter, and uh, not batter, but crumbed. And then um, some crab in just garlic and butter. God, and it was good. It smelled delicious. I didn't have any because, yeah, as you know, I'm allergic. Gets the tingly but bits, but um, yeah. It smelled so good. <laughs> it was delicious. Kids loved it too, which is awesome because they haven't been that crash hot on um, mud crab. Yeah, but Bella smashed it. Mm. But hey, like we always say, if you see us somewhere and you want to come say good day, come say good day. And we'll come hang at your van for three nights. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they did. They came over and said good day to us and then yeah, we just got along and we ended up hanging out. Yeah. But so you um, make friends on the road. It is. <laughs> um, we're all hooked up now. Van's behind us. We're in the middle of Weeper, just come down for a little play and uh, shoot a few hoops with Toby down the basketball court. And um, we're going to head to, well, back down the PDR. I don't know how far we're going to get. We're heading towards Cooktown, but we're not going to make it all nah, the way there. So. Cooktown's like an eight-hour drive from here, so we don't do that longer drives. Mm. So we'll stop somewhere on the way. But I just wanted to say, like, this is beautiful down here. This little park area. It's really nice. So if anyone tells you, don't go to Weaver, because mm. it's a SHIT hole, don't listen. No, like, it's lovely. I haven't found anything wrong with it. Yeah, my only advice would be um, book into that caravan park if you're coming a bit later in the season because mm. even early now when there was no one anywhere else, that's pretty full. There's still spaces, but they were talking to people and they said it just 
gets packed, people wait out the front for someone to leave to get in. Because it's literally the only one in town. It is, unless so. you go to Paddy Father and Free Camp, which is yeah. soft sand like you saw. So yeah, anyway, Weeper, it's been awesome.